before. So I guess I feel that freedom. It, it is a sense, it's not just words, it's I am free in Christ because his truth has truly set me free. That's the reason Jesus came. He say, said he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that he came to set the captive free. God is so gentle with us. This is one of the other things the Word of God says. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. When you are wounded and hurting, when you have things happen in life, life can be bruising. That cause you to doubt, to question your faith. God is gentle with us. But at the same time, he is the only one who can fill that emptiness inside. In Lene's situation, she had known God and had known that peace as a child. So she had a point of reference. Maybe you have that, maybe you don't have that. But you can have everything that she has found, no matter what your beginnings were. If you've never cracked open a Bible, if you didn't grow up in the church, if nobody ever told you how much Jesus loves you, you can know that today. And if you're someone like Lene, who maybe had truth at one time, but life has bruised you, and you've lost that sense of purpose, that sense of peace, that sense of joy, and the ability to feel the love of God, you can have that back today. God says that he's there for us at all times, that he loves us unconditionally, and that we'll find him when we search for him with all of our hearts. You know, he's not going to measure up to what we want him to be. He's asking us to come, to come to him, to where he's at, on his terms, to let him reveal himself to us, to let him love the hurt out of us so that we're not cutting ourselves, drinking things we shouldn't be drinking, shooting things into ourselves we shouldn't be using, looking at things we shouldn't be looking at, engaged in relationships we shouldn't be in, in a desperate, crazy search for meaning and for love, when in fact, it's him. It's really, really, truly him. You can have that today. Lene talked about it at the end of her story when she said, I finally found it. I finally found it. You can have it today, too. Will you pray with me? You don't have to get good enough. You don't have to change things in your life before you come. Actually, you need his power to change the things in your life that need changing. So let's pray together. Let's invite him into the middle of the mess and then let him help us get free. Pray with me. God, I'm looking at Lene's story and I'm saying, I want to know that freedom. I want to know the joy and the peace that she knows. I don't have it. And I know I'm looking for it in all the wrong places. Please forgive me for all the things I've done that have gone against your ways. I want to know your ways. I want to be obedient to you. I want to walk in your paths. I know that you've created me and I want a relationship with you. I want you to be the center of my life. And so I'm inviting you into the very middle of it. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Forgive my sins. Teach me how to live for you, how to live in you, how to let you live in me. I give you everything that I am, all that I have. And I ask you to change me. Fill me now with your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of God, I know you're real. Come into my life. Teach me your ways. Open my eyes. Help me to see you. Open my ears to hear you. And cause my heart to want to follow you, to want to obey you, to want to walk with you. I receive the gift of eternal life that you offer. I want to be with you forever, God. Thank you for waiting for me. I pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, if you've just prayed that prayer, then you've embarked on the journey you were created for. You now have the beginning of a relationship with the creator of the universe. So what do you do? Well, there are a number of things. Did you hear how Lene got into the word of God? That was what began to change her life. You need to do that too. It's God's love letter to you. 
We share all of this with you in a higher calling. This is a packet that's been put together just for you. It's got a CD and a, a brochure for you with information from God's Word. You can have all of this. It's absolutely free. So is the toll-free number. It's 1-800-759-0700. Just say, I prayed that prayer and I'd like a higher calling. We'll get it out to you right away. You can also log on to CBN.com if you prefer to do it that way. But call now. Call now. And by the way, the person on the other end of the line would love to pray for you. Gordon? 